And now it's time for The Catch, our roundup of news from around the lakes. In Ohio, the recreation and tourism organization Destination Toledo has a new mobile passport called the Great Lake Erie Birding Trail. It allows bird lovers to connect and explore nearly 40 different birding hotspots throughout the western basin of Lake Erie. Kimberly Kaufman is the executive director of the Black Swamp Bird Observatory. There's so much to take in in Northwest Ohio that any kind of tools that enhance the visitor's experience are something that we welcome and we're very pleased to see offered to the public. In the springtime, the area is a hot spot for migratory birds, which stop to rest and refuel before flying across Lake Erie. But some birds stay throughout the summer. Beautiful species like the little yellow warbler, the male with this rich red chestnut streaking down its breast, and the common yellow throat, the little masked bandit, the nest in the marshes. So some of those warblers will stay here with us all through the summer, and that makes them really special to bird lovers. And there's a growing number of people interested in bird watching. Kim says it's a result of so many finding new COVID-friendly hobbies during the last two years. More people than ever before discovered birds right in their backyard. And the beauty of it is that those birds are still here in the summer. Things like downy woodpeckers, red-bellied woodpeckers, and the beautiful gold and black American goldfinches. Those are birds that are here with us year round. So they're worth celebrating too. As much as we love and celebrate spring migration, the backyard birds that stay here all summer. And if you don't have a big yard where you can attract birds, get out into any park, the Metro Park system, a county park, and you're sure to find some of those wonderful summer birds that are here with us year round. At Great Lakes Now, we aim to cover the Great Lakes region and the people who live here, like you. Please follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our newsletter at greatlakesnow.org.